Richard woke up in the morning, there was someone in his room. Hello? Bernard? It was the postman, who had first brought Bernard his watch. Well, I must admit, I'm rather disappointed. Are you? It's the sort of thing I'd have expected from someone else, but not from you, Bernard. Not from you. Bernard had no idea what he was talking about. I'm talking about the money from two garages, four newsagents and a supermarket, taken early this morning. Money? Using your watch. That's not what it's for, Bernard. That's not what it's for at all. Someone used my watch to steal money? £37,000 from two garages, four newsagents and a supermarket. How could you do it? I didn't. I haven't stolen anything. I've been in bed. Well, if it wasn't you, who was it? Bernard didn't know. He just knew he hadn't stolen anything. If it was someone else, I have to apologise. But I'm afraid the effects are still the same. What do you mean? It's your time, Bernard. It was given to you. And if your time is misused, it gets taken away. Those are the rules. Taken away? Just put everything back, Bernard. Put everything back before it's too late. And hurry! You don't have much time. Bernard reached for his watch. But it had gone. There's been another one. What? Another burglary. It was on the news. Five paintings disappeared from the gallery. They just vanished from the walls, the man said, and then... What's the matter? I thought we decided to use paper plates, not the good china. My watch! Morning, Bernard. It's gone. My watch is gone. No, it hasn't. As a matter of fact, I've got some very good news about your watch. Where is it? You know Mr Rattle, the man that's moved in over the road? He did the clock there for your father. Well, I was telling him last night about your gold pocket watch, and when he heard what it looked like, he was very interested. You didn't give it to him, did you? He's an expert on watches, Bernard. People send them to him from all over the world. He said he'd look at it, value it and clean it, all for free. He'll give it back to you at the party tonight. I thought you'd be pleased. What? Well, you could have asked him first. How could I ask him anything? He was asleep. Honestly, I can't do anything right today, can I? When Bernard was dressed, he went across the road to see Mr Rattle. But nobody answered the door. All the curtains were drawn. And there didn't seem to be anyone at home. Hello, Bernard. I've been expecting you. No, don't go away. We've got a lot to talk about. The next thing Bernard knew, he was sitting inside Mr Rattle's house. Not bad for a morning's work, eh? Now this will just tide me over for a few days. When the bank's open, that's when I'll get the real money. And what did you used to use this for? Playing tricks on your teachers? That's my watch. Not anymore. Sorry. But you can't. Let's get one thing straight, shall we? This is mine now, and there's nothing you or anyone else can do about it. Because if somebody tried, like your parents or the police, all I've got to do is press this button. And in no time at all, I could be somewhere else. Now, it may be a long way away, or it might be very close. Who knows? I wouldn't tell anyone what's happened if I was you, Bernard. Remember how I used this watch to bring you here? Well, I might use it to put you somewhere not quite so nice. Like on the top of a very tall building. Or being tied to a log in a sawmill, with the saw getting closer and closer. But of course I won't need to do any of that. Because you're not going to tell anyone, are you? No. No. Of course not. Good. Well, I 
off you go. Go on. But don't forget, I can be anywhere, anytime. Bernard was very frightened. Ah, Bernard. Did you get your watch back all right? Yes. Good, good. See, I told you there was nothing to worry about. Later that morning, Bernard told his friend Karen what had happened. So what are you going to do about it? I'm not going to do anything. It's too dangerous. You think so? He could be anywhere, Karen. He could use the watch to come in here and hide under the bed to hear what we're saying. He could be outside the door or in the wardrobe behind me. So you don't think we should try and get the watch back? We can't get it back. Nobody can. And if we try it, we'll just make him angry. Yes. What we need to do is keep right out of his way. Hmm. Um, that might not be too easy. Why? Because he's coming over here now. He's what? All right, I'll get it. Mr. Rattle. I'm sorry to disturb you, Mrs. Beasley. I just wondered if I could have a word with Bernard. It's about his watch. All right, I'll call him. Bernard! It's Mr. Rattle! He'll be down in a minute. If you'll excuse me, potatoes. Oh, Bernard, I need the key. The what? I need the key for the watch. But it doesn't have a key. Well, whatever you use to wind it up with. And that's what I want. Whatever you use to start it when it stops. But it never stops, unless... Unless what? Well, the postman did say that if you don't use time for what it's for, then it gets taken away. Don't mess me about, sunshine, all right? I want whatever you use to wind it up. And if you don't give it to me right now, I'm going to... Mr Rattle, what on earth do you think you're doing? You keep out of it. Now you're going to... Let go of my son at once. I've warned you, keep out of this. Now, you're going to tell me where that key is? I'm really going to have to leave my... How dare you! <laughs> How dare you touch my oh. child! You swine! Mrs Beasley! What? It's all right now. Oh. Yes, of course. I'm sorry... If there's one thing I just can't stand, that's people being violent. It makes me so angry. John! John! Are you all right, Bernard? Here's your watch. Bernard had his watch back at last, but unfortunately, it didn't work anymore. OK, just make sure I've got this right. Mr Rattle came round here at a quarter past twelve and was knocked unconscious by... Uh, by my wife. By Mrs Beasley, right. He had Bernard by the shirt. I wasn't just going to stand there and let him... D don't worry. I would have done the same myself. And when you were putting him in the recovery position, you saw the money in his pocket? Yes. So you both went round to his house, where one of you broke down the door. That was me again. Yes. And you found the rest of the money and all the paintings inside? Yes. Yes, yes that's right. Well, I must say we're extremely grateful to you. Eight burglaries solved in the same day, all the goods returned. Couldn't be better at all. I heard on the news that the money had just vanished. Have you found out how he did it? No idea. He won't talk? Oh, he talks all the time, but he doesn't make any sense. He says he did it with a watch that could stop time, that he got from Bernard here. Bernard? I didn't know your watch could do that. I can't. Could I? Be useful if it could, though, eh? Yes. Yes, it would. The New Year's Eve party that night was a great success. Everybody in the street had been invited, and they all came. Except for Mr Rattle, of course, who was in prison. An exotic dancer. How very interesting. What does that involve, exactly? People need something to drink, John. Yes, sir, of course. And they were all having a wonderful time.
except Bernard. For Bernard, there didn't seem to be a lot to celebrate. You all right? It's nearly midnight. Aren't you going to come down? I don't think so. It was the postman. I hope your parents won't mind me helping myself, Bernard. What's happening? Why are you here? Ah, well, special privilege, you see. It's the time. What time? The new time. Start of the new millennium, Bernard. Can't you feel it? I love it. All that fresh new time pouring into the world. Nothing better. It's like everyone gets a chance to begin again, you know? To try and get it right this time. New beginning. Everything gets a fresh start. Everything. Everything, Bernard. Present for you. Happy New Year. It was his watch. Will it work? Why not try and see? I got it back. Hang on. There was still one thing Bernard had to do. Thank you. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure, Bernard. A pleasure. Have a good time, Bernard. Have a very good time. Shh. 